The next thing you need to know about creating web pages with HTML and CSS is you need to have some sort of an environment in which you create those web pages. What do I mean by environment? I mean um, you need some sort of a text editor or you need an integrated development environment. So if you go to Google and you Google IDE and define it, it says an integrated development environment is a programming environment that has been packaged as an application programmer, blah, 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 blah. Basically what that means is it's going to help you write your code. There are a bunch of different editors that are out there and IDE environments that are out there. You do not want to use Dreamweaver. <laughs> Back in the day, Dreamweaver was awesome. Today, eh, not so much. Um, it's still, it's fine. It's okay, right? But it's not what the pros use. So it kind of is like you're a hobbyist if you're using Dreamweaver is kind of my association of Dreamweaver. Uh, basically what you want to use is either Sublime Text 3, and I know I'm just giving the opinion here, but this is my opinion, which is based upon having been in this field for a while. So you want to use Sublime Text 3, or you want to use WebStorm. And WebStorm will cost you money, if you're taking my class at the college, I have a license for you for free. So you can just send me a little note or email and I'll give you a license for this. Uh, if you're not at the college, ask, email WebStorm, <laughs> JetBrains, and, and maybe they'll give it to you anyhow for free because you're a student. Just send them an email. They're pretty cool. All right, so you're going to download and use either Sublime Text 3 or WebStorm. Well, which one should you choose? Uh, the thing you should know about WebStorm is it's made by a company called JetBrains. And JetBrains also makes uh, IDEs for Java programming and then also for Android Studio. So if Java programming or Android Studio are in your life or in your future, or if you think they might be in your future in the future, then uh, I really recommend using WebStorm because the interface between IntelliJ, Android Studio, and WebStorm is all very similar. And so if you learn WebStorm, you'll be like, oh, cool, I understand this interface when you go over to IntelliJ or Android Studio. That was a mouthful. Um, Sublime Text, it's also very helpful. So uh, either of those editors would be fine. Both of them have very similar capabilities, and you can't go wrong with either of them. So uh, you need to download and install one of these editors.